One of the principal investigators conducting the study, who just recently returned from that three-week expedition, joins us now in the studio, Professor Gert Verheide from the University of Munich. We thank you very much for joining us. First, I'd like to begin with uh, what exactly is a geobiologist? A geobiologist is a scientist who works at the interface between geosciences and biosciences, basically applies biological methods and biological uh, model species to infer processes in the past. Okay, now you've just returned from this project in the Coral Sea. What makes that region of special interest in terms of geological and biological terms? So in terms of geology, it's, it's very interesting because it, uh, the, the area where we were working on the, on the Queensland Plateau, which is about 100 nautical miles off the Great Barrier Reef, separated very early from the Australian continent and has been marine all the time, even during sea level changes. And uh, we expected a very ancient living fossil fauna there that has survived since uh, the Mesozoic, like since the time of the dinosaurs, basically. Okay, and how are your discoveries important? Which questions, scientific questions, can they help clarify? So basically, the, the, the first question that we were addressing is, are those animals really there? How do the communities look like? And why were they there so stable over the, far, uh, the last millions, millions of years? And which animals were there? And what is their uh, ecology down there? Okay, and you've brought a few things to show us today. Yes. I have I'm going to lift these and try not to drop them here because I know they're very valuable <laughs> and old. Can yeah, you tell yeah. me for a minute what I'm holding in my hand? So this is a, a fossil nautilus, and uh, this is from the Jurassic, from the time of, of the dinosaurs, more than a hundred million years ago, basically. And this is a, a modern nautilus from the Philippines, as you can, as we observe them also in, in, in the Coral Sea. Okay, and we have a bigger object here. Can you tell us a bit about that? So this is a, a, a bigger, a fully grown adult nautilus and the, basically a, a section and the, the soft tissue. So the animal lives in this big chamber and the tentacles come out here. Mm -hmm. And we have a sifo here uh, where the animal pumps in and releases gas into, gas into the chambers and it can then lift itself up and down and, and control its buoyancy uh, in the ocean. Okay, and that's also from modern times. Yeah, this is from the Pacific. Okay, mm -hmm. now a research voyage to uh, Australia sounds very glamorous, beautiful waters, probably also very beautiful weather. What's most, the reality like? <laughs> most of the time, yes, it was. We had, we had really good weather. That's why we, why we went just before Christmas, because it's the time of the, of the lowest uh, winds. Um, it's um, intense. It's intense. It's hot outside, and uh, the boat is small. There's many people on the boat, and uh, you can't escape, basically. You're, 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 you're there for, for three weeks with 20 people. All right. And, okay. And briefly, uh, what's next? Any more expeditions? Uh, first, we have to w uh, work up the, the results and the findings of, the, of, the, uh, of the, this expedition, but then we are looking forward to getting back down there, of course. Okay. Gerd Verhade, we thank you thank very you. much for being on our show. You're welcome. And you can read more about research being pursued at the Great Barrier Reef and the Coral Sea on our website. There you will also find blog entries from some of the scientists taking part in the projects there. And you can also keep up to date on the next major German expedition to Australia. Well